This video is to be watched after you've already watched the introduction to tumble books. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use three different types of ebooks you will find on tumble books. So first thing you're going to, after you've selected a story to read, either from looking at the tabs at the top here or scrolling through the various categories on the main page, you're going to pick a book that you want to read. If you choose a storybook, these are um, recorded in video format. So you'll read through the summary, of course, to see if it's interesting. And then you're going to click play video. And these are just going to be a video you watch from beginning to end. They have a short introduction. And then you will see they have illustrations, but the words are on the screen as well, and they highlight what section that is currently being read to you. Now, it's going to be useful if you're going to do storybooks to add a number to your playlist. If you add them to your playlist, they will play one after the other, just like if you're listening to a playlist with music, okay? Um, so that is why, what the playlist is used for. Favorites, however, is used to just add books that you're interested in reading or that you're currently reading, if you're reading something that lasts a little bit longer. Now, if you want a read along, those are books that are chapter books that are going to be read to you, but they're formatted like a more traditional chapter book. So once I've chosen a book that I'm interested in reading, I've read the summary, I might want to add it to my favorites if it's going to take me a couple days to read. Once I click on the image or click read online, it's going to open up in its own tab. And you'll notice that there are some menu options at the bottom. This blue button is where you're going to actually start the narration. Okay, the green buttons move you from one page to the next. There is a chapter button if you want to move forward in the books, uh, further down in the book chapters. There is a bookmark option that does seem to be working on this. If you set the bookmark, then it will remember to come back there. And then if you are on a page that you need to get to that bookmark, you click go to. And you can see that it advanced it advanced to my previously saved bookmark, okay? Um, going back, text options is useful. You can change the size of the text and also the font, and that's helpful when you're reading um, for a while on a screen. There might be fonts that are more useful. Color options as well. You can actually change the background and the color of your text, which again can be helpful when you're reading on a screen for a long time. So feel free to change those. It does seem to be saving notes. It'll give you one note per chapter. So if there's notes that you want to save for whatever reason you can do that there and then you'll notice that as it's reading um, the part being read will be highlighted the lind was one of those capable creatures who can manage their own concerns so if you are interested in a read aloud if you enjoy audiobooks or playaways from the library the read-alongs are going to be a good option for you ebooks however are very similar in format but they will not be read to you. They look almost exactly the same, but they won't have this blue play button at the bottom right there. Um, they will advance just like the read aloud, but there will you'll do all the reading on your own. Finally, there are books in the graphic novel section and these are formatted just a little bit different, okay? So if I, there's a graphic novel that I want to read, I click read online. If it's gonna take me a while, I'll add it to my favorites to get back to it quickly. Here you advance to the chapters in this upper left corner. You can also go to the pages here as well. But in, instead of um, using arrows to advance from one page to the next, these arrows actually advance you to the next chapter. And to read the pages, you're gonna scroll down and you can see the page numbers here on the side. So explore, enjoy, and I hope you guys have fun, happy reading. <laughs>